Hello students and a very warm welcome to you. Just as ABCD forms the foundation of English language, similarly numbers form the basis of mathematics. We can't even imagine a world without numbers. If I ask you, how many runs did Sachin Tendulkar score in the World Cup? Or what is the present value of Sensex? At what speed does the earth revolve around the sun? Or what part or the fraction of Indian population is literate? Whether it is about your father's salary or it is about the timing of your mother's favorite show on the television. Whether it is about the number of hairbands your sister possesses or it is about the power of your grandfather's spectacles. Everything and every phenomenon is expressed in terms of numbers. So let me have the pleasure to introduce you to this world of numbers. So let's begin. We have heard of so many numbers. Natural numbers, whole numbers, rational numbers, integers. But what exactly they are? And they sound so confusing. How can one differentiate between the natural numbers, whole numbers, rational numbers or integers? So this is something we are going to understand in this lecture. So let's try to learn the basic difference between these kind of numbers. Now let us say that this is the number line. Now you have already studied about the number line in your previous classes. Let us say that this is a monkey with his bag, but this monkey is very notorious. What he does is, he moves towards the number line and he takes away all these numbers which are on the right hand side of 0. So this bag contains numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Now what's so special about these numbers? All these numbers are known as the natural numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and so on are natural numbers. Now what this monkey again does is he takes the 0 from the number line. Now the back contains all the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 along with the 0. But here this back is not termed as a back of whole numbers. So natural numbers along with 0 is known as whole numbers. Now. Again, this notorious monkey does one more thing. He takes away all these remaining numbers. Now this pack contains numbers like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. And also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0. Now this collection of numbers is known as integers. So the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on are known as natural numbers. Natural numbers along with 0 are known as whole numbers. and the remaining numbers like minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on plus the whole numbers are known as integers. Now one by one we are going to understand about the natural numbers, whole numbers and the integers. So let's take the first case that is natural numbers. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on are known as natural numbers. So all the numbers which are on the right hand side of 0 are known as natural numbers. Now, let us say that this is a triangle consisting of apples. Now why are natural numbers used? Natural numbers are used for counting. So if I ask you how many apples are there in this triangle, then by counting you get the number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there are in all 7 apples in this triangle. So in our day to day life we use natural numbers for counting. Maybe it's the counting of number of bananas. It may be counting of pens. It may be counting of number of rooms in your house. So natural numbers are the numbers which are 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. And these numbers are used for counting. Now natural numbers are denoted by the set n. So whenever we write n it denotes the set of natural numbers. So we can denote natural numbers by the set n. So this was all about the natural numbers. Now the next is whole numbers. Let us say that this is a bag and it consists of all the natural numbers 1, 3, 7, 111, 100, 40,000, 999,999, 523 and so on. All the natural numbers. Now what happens is if we add a zero to this bag then this bag becomes a set of whole numbers. Thus whole numbers are nothing but natural numbers plus the element 0. So this bag consists of the whole numbers. So this bag consists of 
whole numbers. The next is integers. Now what are integers? Again, we consider this back. It has the numbers 1, 2, 0, 45, 738, 1000, 56, 99,999 and so on. So this back consists of all the whole numbers and whole numbers are denoted by W. Now, again we have this box and it contains all negative integers like minus 45, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 and so on. All the negative numbers. Now, one by one we see that if all these numbers are inserted into this bag then what happens is this very bag which had whole numbers initially now consists of integers so this pack is made up of integers thus the whole numbers plus the negative of natural numbers together constitute the integers so this is the basic difference between natural numbers whole numbers and the integers now, integers are denoted by the set Z. Now, why are they denoted by the set Z? This we are going to see very shortly. Integers include the whole numbers and the negative numbers. So, integers consist of all the whole numbers and again the whole numbers consist of natural numbers plus zero. So, integers would be whole numbers and the negative numbers. Now, Z comes from the German word Zalin which means to count. So integers are the numbers which are used for counting and that is why they have been derived from the German word Zellin which means to count. So we can say that the natural numbers are denoted by N, whole numbers are denoted by W and the integers are denoted by Z.